The topic is Pearson's product moment correlation coefficient, PMCC. Lesson objective is to understand the method to classify the strength of correlation numerically by finding the Pearson's product moment correlation coefficient. Just highlighting uh, two key points that you have to remember is that Carl Pearson's coefficient of correlation is denoted by the letter. You can already see that letter twice in the word correlation. So it's a letter R that is used to denote PMCC. The coefficient of correlation R it measures the strength of the linear relationship between two variables X and Y. We have to remember that we are dealing with a linear relationship. Now the value of correlation coefficient r lies between negative 1 and positive 1. Both the values inclusive. Here is a scale. If it's a 0 stands for no correlation, uh, describing the range of correlation again. If it's between 0 to 0 0.25, we say it's a very weak uh, correlation. And if it is a 0 0.25 to 0 0.5, we say it's a weak. From 0 0.5 to 0 0.75, we call it moderate correlation. And uh, above 0 0.75, it's a strong correlation that you have. Now, when it is above 0 0.9, we say it's a very strong correlation. Now, usually for the exam, the two terms that you have to mention uh, based on the correlation value that you find is uh, in which uh, range does it fall? Is it a very weak, weak, moderate or strong? Along with you have to mention whether it's a negative or a positive correlation. So whenever you put your answers, you should have uh, one word taken from the scale and you have to fix whether it is a negative or a positive correlation. Now you may have a doubt what if it's exactly 0 0.5 or exactly 0 0.75. Uh, to clarify that I have this. You can see if it's 0 0.25 you call it very weak and if it's 0 0.5 it's weak. 0 0.75 uh, falls in a moderate category and above which is strong. So you have to memorize these values so that once you get your uh, correlation coefficient from the GDC, you should be able to uh, use these terms to define your answer. We'll be discussing the answer for this question. The heights and shoe sizes of the students at Learnville Academy are given in the table below and comment on your results. The height, the shoe size. Whenever you have the tabulated data like this, uh, this is your x variables that they are talking about and this is the y. So you can take note of this table somewhere in your notebook or in a sheet of papers because we will be going to the GDC steps next. Moving on to the GDC steps to find the value for r. Before you start working with your GDC, make sure you click on mode. And check whether your stat diagnostics is turned on. So here you can see it's off. So use this down button to come down to stat diagnostics and click on select on. And you can see it's blinking. Just press enter. So once it is done, you can proceed with your calculations. Click on stat. You can see the window. In this window, the first step is to input the data into your GDC, which will be entered in the form of a list. Click on the first option, which is 1. Either you select the number 1 or you can just press enter. You can see the list L1, L2, L3 on your screen. And now you have to type the values into it. List 1 will be the X variables, which is 145. You just keep typing the numbers 151, 154, once you finish with your list 1, go to list 2, start entering your y values there. OK, 
you know you have both your list ready your list one and list two is ready make sure you remember the name of your list which is l1 for the x variables and l2 for the y variables go to start go to calculate the option here and come down to 4 which is line regression so either you click 4 or you can just come down and press enter you can see the x list is l1 just imagine if you have some other name or if you don't have the list name there you can see these blue labelings above each number so you just press on second and if you press L1 which is uh, the number one you can see this L1 is here just above the key one so that's how you have to select uh, coming down press enter now L2 even if it's an empty place or if it's some other list name you can always change it to L2 by pressing second and uh, this is the L2 which is number two okay uh, you're not entering any frequency list here so enter 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 and finally for the calculate enter you have the following variables here a b r square and r uh, from which r is what we are looking for at 0 0.964 which is giving you a very strong positive correlation so this is your answer a recap of what we did you clicked on stat so stat gives you this window from there you enter the list you have the data given to you which is your x variable and y variable you have the list ready go to calculate and in calculate you go to option 4 which is line regression the window will be asking you for the name of your list you enter l1 and l2 Click on enter till you reach your calculate and finally you get this answer. Now for your answer part, you will be looking for R which is 0 0.964 to 3 SF. It says it is a very strong positive correlation between the variables. Now y equals ax plus b, uh, the straight line equation. You have the value for a, you have the value for b. All that you have to do is just put them together to make your straight line equation, the line, uh, the regression line equation, which is y equals uh, take to 3 sf. Your answer is going to be 0.206x plus your B is 4.729, so it's going to be 4.73. So this is going to be your answer if they have asked you for the equation of the line of regression.